Hello and welcome to the Microsoft Megabyte for May 26th, 2022. Uh, uh, okay, look, I know there are a lot of gamers out there who listen to the show, and I also know that there's a big gaming topic that we have yet to spend some quality time on. So for many gamers, this topic can actually be one of the most important to their lives. So, okay, even though, of course, Xbox consoles are massively important to the entire Xbox gaming story, let's hone in today on the rig itself, PC gaming. Let's welcome back to our show our very own gaming expert, Tony Hannity's. Tony, let's talk PC gaming. What do you think? Let's talk about your radio voice. You just turned that on. That was great. Yeah. You were talking normal just a second ago, and now you're like, hello, everybody. I don't, I'm not, I'm not comfortable revealing to everyone what my normal voice sounds like. As you know, it's three octaves higher than this. <laughs> I think it's the hat you're wearing, but let's move on. I I, I, I think um, Xbox, obviously, I'm you know that's my bread and butter. Yeah, I'm all about Xbox. But where did it start? Where 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 did gaming start for Microsoft? And it obvious obviously started on the PC. And we can talk about the history of that. That's a good point. Yeah, that's that, that's a whole other podcast. If you guys would like us to talk about that, we could. Uh, but let's let's talk about some of the top tier games that are available right now with PC Game Pass. Okay, um, exactly. So I, I, we're, we are here on a Microsoft a Microsoft podcast talking about PC gaming. And it, for people who aren't gamers, they might be wondering, well, what what do you mean? That's what Xbox is all about. That's what Xbox consoles are. But you just said PC Game Pass. And also there's yes. Game Pass Ultimate, which includes PC Game Pass. So Correct. real quickly, recap, what is that PC Game Pass component of you know the Xbox Game Pass story? PC Game Pass is the one-stop shop subscription that you can get specifically for your PC where you have access to over hundreds of titles, including day one titles right. and EA Play. For one low monthly fee, you get you can play games like Forza Horizon, Halo Infinite, Sea of Thieves. I mean, the, the list just goes on and yeah. on. But those are, of course, our top tier games. I mean, when you think of Microsoft gaming, you, of course, think of Halo Infinite or yes. and, and Forza Horizon Forza. 5. Mm-hmm. But there's just so much more, Brian. Brian there's just, okay, that's there's why, so that's much why more. you're here. That's why you're here. Because as you know, the latest PC game I played was probably Warcraft 3. <laughs> so I, okay. I've been playing talk. a lot of console. I'm playing. Right. I, and, you know, I'm kidding. Of course, I have played a lot of these Xbox games on PC. But it's been a long time. I mean, I used to definitely categorize myself as a PC gamer. And, you know, would buy full-fledged titles that would cost $60, $90 sometimes for a sure. PC game. Sure. So what are... What are the Tony Hannity's top titles? There's that radio voice for you. What are the Tony Hannity's top titles for PC gamers that you can get on Xbox Game Pass for PC? I'd like to commission a stinger that says that. But uh, one top title is off, is is another obvious one, but I really, really want to showcase it, and that is Age of Empires 4. Okay. Age of Empires is one of the original real-time strategy games. It's a top-down, you can play with other people, and there, there's so many other games that were inspired by Age of Empires, and this is essentially the fourth edition. And not only to the amazing gaming mechanics, that you get uh, within the game, whether you're doing the campaign or online multiplayer, there's there's a real like historical connection mm-hmm. to this game. You can learn about Genghis Khan or Genghis Khan, depending on your pronunciation. Yeah. You can learn more about Joan of Arc and her crusade. And, and I think that is just phenomenal for people that want to do gaming, but also might want to learn a little bit on the side. Okay, so as we go through this list, I'm going to ask you questions like, why why does this show up so age of Empires, of course an awesome game you know full stop an awesome game franchise but why would this come to mind when you're thinking about games that would be awesome to play on a pc specifically well with the latest edition of age of empires 4 and the pc and specifically with windows 11 the graphics are going to be phenomenal now albeit you do have to have some of the physical hardware like a really good graphics card to to be able to push these graphics out, but with auto, you know, with auto HDR, uh, 60 frames per second, you feel and look like you are commanding an actual battle as if you are in a drone looking right. top down at these people, just and, uh, mangling could an each other. Be, 
couldn't an argument be made, Tony, that some people, some players might prefer to play a game like Age of Empires with a keyboard and mouse instead of a controller? Oh, totally. I mean, there are real-time strategy games on console with a controller, but I do feel when it comes to having to manage multiple pockets of your empire, your troops, and making sure that the maneuvers, I love mm-hmm. that word, mm-hmm. the maneuvers are doing the thing that they're supposed to be maneuvering. It's not a word. Yeah, you, um, you, you really tried there, didn't you? Wow. Keyboard and mouse just makes it that much easier. Plus you have macros, like you can just hit F1 or F3 and then your troops do the thing that they're supposed to do. Right. And you can't really do that on control. It's a little bit limited with control. Okay, cool. Age of Ms. great. What What's next on your list? This is a fan favorite, but it is on PC Game Pass, and that is Tell Me Why Chapters 1 through 3. Okay, tell if me why. You're, if you're really into a, an extremely story-driven game, and a, like a narrative adventure game, Tell Me Why is probably at the top of your list. And this has been available on PC through other means, of course, but being able to get it at no additional cost on Game Pass and being able to play it and, you know, keep up with new chapters as they uh, release is just really phenomenal. Yep. Awesome. So that's a big departure from a game like Age of Empires. Totally different style of gameplay. Oh, uh, completely. And just sh- starts to show the diversity of the Game Pass library right out of the gate. So, okay, awesome. So we've gone from one extreme, really, to another. Now, what would be next on your list? So this is another fan favorite that has been available through other means. But thanks to our acquisition of Bethesda a few years ago, you can now play The Elder Scrolls Skyrim on PC with PC Game Pass or Game Pass Ultimate. And for those of you who are familiar with all the memes and everything now, you can join in on the fun. And if you're not familiar, which is totally fine, there's a whole new generation of people that are getting gaming computers and they just want to jump into a game. This is one of those that um, I feel like it kind of marries people from the old gaming world like you and I. To yeah. the new gaming world where it's very first person shooter kind of like a uh, focused. So, yeah. And speaking about bringing different generations of gamers together, I mean, these titles we're talking about are, are yes, available on PC and Game Pass. But if they're also if they're in Game Pass, that means you can also play them on console and you can also play them on cloud gaming, right? On like mobile devices. Oh, yeah. Let's not forget. Yeah. Xbox cloud gaming exclusively available with Game Pass Ultimate will allow you to play a multitude of these games. Now, it's not 100% of the same catalog, Mm -hmm. but it's about 99%. I mean, now you can do cloud gaming with Microsoft Flight Simulator. And if that doesn't wow you enough, (laughs) I, I don't know what will. I mean, Microsoft Flight Simulator is a very... Intense. It's a very heavy, intense <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, game that is going to require a lot of load on the hardware side. And if you can stream it like you can stream you know, your favorite TV show through your favorite streaming service, that's amazing. Exactly. And all you have to do is connect a Bluetooth controller. We also have things like you can stream Jurassic World Evolution 2 that's similar to the other real-time strategy game of Age of Empires, you build your own Jurassic World. I mean, right. Who's, who, who's ever seen the movie and said, I could probably build a better one that doesn't make the dinosaurs escape? Well, now you can really try. Now's your chance. Good <laughs> luck. Now's your chance. Uh, so, okay, awesome. So then as we focus, you've already listed off a couple other g- great titles that I know like my son is my son is dying to play the Jurassic World. Um are there let's let's list off a couple others just for those out there who maybe just bought a new PC that's capable of of running some real serious games. Like what are a couple others on your list? One that comes to mind that is a game that I personally am extremely, extremely scared about. <laughs> it's called Dead by Daylight. I don't like horror games. Mm-hmm. You you really have to convince me or maybe even trick me to play a horror game. I don't know how you would trick me. Maybe blindfolds, but that would make my anxiety worse. But Dead by Daylight, you it is definitely a party game where one of you is the killer uh-huh. and the rest of you are trying to escape. And it's 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 just a lot of fun. That game you can play on PC. Also, you can do it through, uh, via cloud streaming. Um, another one that is a, a, a huge fan favorite is Super Hot. 
Brian, yes. you, you played super hot. I, I yes. know you played super hot. That one, I mean, come on. That that and is a that, great that's game one as where well. You can, you can genuinely say that's innovative gameplay. That's oh, one. That, that's a, that's a, a game that plays just as well in VR as it does on PC, as it does on console. I mean, it's just so eloquently designed that, and immersively designed that the fact that you could just start start playing that on your on your laptop while waiting for your airplane at a terminal sounds like the exact kind of thing you want to do to entertain yourself as you're on the go. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And lastly, one game I do want to highlight is a new game. This was available day 1 on Game Pass uh for for the PC and for console uh including the cloud and that is called Citizen Sleeper. What is and this? The, 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 the little like subtitle is role playing in the ruins of interplanetary capitalism. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Give me a, give me a little bit. Give me a little bit about this. So so essentially you're a digitized human consciousness in an artificial body. Oh, aren't we all, Tony? Aren't we your all? Your body is owned by a corporation. And guess what? That corporation wants it back. Whoa. Yeah. Well, it's sound, sounding very Severance-esque. A little bit, yeah. So you actually use dye, you use clocks, and um, you, you basically um, you can use drives to create a, a player-led experience. And it, it just has a very rich and responsive world to it. So it's, it's, it's another one where it might not be at like the top of the list for everybody, but that's the beauty of PC Game Pass and just Game Pass in general. You can try these. You can yeah, try them exactly out, right. and, exactly. and especially if you're streaming it to your PC via the browser or the Xbox app on Windows 10 and Windows 11, you can literally play them before you download them. And exactly. if you like it, go ahead and download it and play to your heart's content. All right. These are awesome games, but I do have a, a quick clarification point. Like I know cloud gaming works for mobile devices, for sure. you know iOS, Android. So what, why should anyone care about cloud gaming if they're on a PC? If they have, you know, Game Pass Ultimate. Right. Well, Game Pass Ultimate and cloud gaming specifically kind of levels the playing field. And it doesn't matter if you're on a PC that is designed for gaming or a PC that is entry level and really just designed for productivity. If you just point your browser to xbox.com slash play, or right. like I mentioned, if you use the Xbox app, you go to the cloud gaming section within that app, you can just stream any of those games and you can enjoy them as if they were downloaded to your computer. And remember, I said you can play them before you really download them. A lot of these games, especially games like Forza, Halo, yeah. all those top tier games, they are gigabytes. Worth. Oh yeah, dozens and dozens of, of memory. gigabytes, yeah. So you might want to compartmentalize and figure out, okay, what game can I play in stream? And what games do I want to download to always be there? Great. Like for example, I have been playing Among Us through cloud gaming because oh. it's a great game, right? Yeah. But I don't need to download a gig. Like I, I'll just, I'll just stream it. No harm, no foul. And honestly, nobody knows. Nobody's gonna know. The performance is is exactly what you need. And even for multiplayer, it's fantastic. And you actually are you're really making a powerful point for why PC gaming with Xbox Game Pass is so relevant because you're on your PC. I know you're sitting there probably with a couple different monitors. You have Excel spreadsheet open, you have PowerPoint, you have your emails, and you can now alt tab over and multitask to an Among Us game that's playing on your PC while you while you're having a break. And you can get some have some game time, have some relaxation before you jump back into work on another one of your virtual desktops or or snapped windows. And I think that's sort of the power of the PC gaming story with Xbox. Oh, completely. When you get a load of the catalog that's available for PC gaming, you will start to see the breadth uh, of what we have to offer from the point of view of the types of genres, new genres that you may not even be aware of, or even games that you used to play when you were younger and you stopped playing, but mm -hmm. now you can play them again. Command and Conquer, Myst, Sim City. I mean, the list really does go on, and that's a lot in thanks to our partners over at EA Play. But with new games coming available day one and the upcoming announcements that we have in June of 2022, 
I'm very excited to see what else is coming to PC Game Pass and just Game Pass Ultimate in general. Perfect. Well said. Okay, then let's let's close this out with a couple of your must-have PC gaming accessories. Some Xbox console accessories work great for PC. You've already mentioned one, but just give someone maybe if they're planning on giving a gift or something for uh, for a birthday or perhaps a gift for a college grad or something like that. Like, what are some Xbox accessories that are compatible with PC gaming? Oh, completely. If you are looking to do simulation style games like Microsoft Flight Simulator or Forza Horizon 5, you can drive and control the cockpit via keyboard and mouse, but it's unnecessary. Get an Xbox controller and they're very inexpensive. We have a slew of different colors to choose from, or you can get a top tier one by using the design labs and colorizing it yourself. In addition to that, gamers will be the first to admit one of the most important things is audio. And so you want to get some really good headphones with low latency. And if you're like me, you don't really like wires, the Xbox wireless headset is probably the best way to go. This does connect via Bluetooth, but you can also connect it to multiple machines and it has an onboard microphone. So you don't have to worry about the microphone being too far away from your mouth. You have a mute button and you can control the volume just by turning the knobs on your right or left ear. It's right. just a beautiful design as well, too. Very lightweight. And the battery life is pretty phenomenal on its own. Tony Hannity's Gaming Maestro. All right, you're coming in with those hot, hot PC gaming tips. Thank you very much for those of game course. recommendations and for those accessories recommendations. Now, where do where do we go from here? You know, we only have so much time on a podcast episode. If you're out there and you want to learn more, you want to keep getting more tips about gaming, what should our listeners do? Well, the first place you want to go check out and bookmark is our Twitch page. We are on Twitch and we stream almost four times a week. And that's twitch.tv slash EZ Encore. And that's mm-hmm. connected to Expert Zone, our you know parent site. But EZ Encore on Twitch is where we do our live streams. We also do live streams on YouTube. And that's youtube.com slash expert zone. And on that same channel, you'll see a bunch of great videos related to just gaming in general, but also the other products and services that Microsoft has to offer. And you'll see uh, videos from the likes of Brian here as well, too. So uh, definitely follow those out. Oh, we'll follow those out. All right, Tony. What is that? You can't just get away with saying that phrase and think it means something. We're going to move on. We're we're just going to move on. And we're, we're, we're... We'll, 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 we'll do it in post. All right, we'll fix everything in post. As usual, Tony, thank you so much. Now let's fix thank it you. in post. Get back to work, which I assume for you is playing games. Yes. <laughs> This has been the Microsoft Megabyte Podcast, a training tool for Microsoft field team members and sales professionals across the country, produced by Microsoft employees. 